so for so for me there really isn't that much stuff to talk about that much, but I do want to bullet point some stuff. Um one there there are some references to the show. Like, um they'd say some lines that will be used in the show like swipe it, no swipe it and Vaminos and um of course, as I said, they used the theme song at the beginning. Dora constantly wears her outfit. The child, Diego, wears his outfit that he would wear on the show in the beginning. Um, and one of the weirdest references in the show, to the show is that later on down in the movie, um, Dora, Diego, and Alejandro um, end up unintentionally taking this weird drug like this gas and it makes them hallucinate and it pretty much just turn into the into, into the show and it's in the style animation style and everything except Diego still looks kind of weird did Diego look that way in the show so um I, I don't remember what Diego looked like it's been a while since I've seen Door the Explorer or Go Diego Go. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what from a but. They're like all these characters, and from the show and yeah, uh, yeah, bro. This is what Diego's supposed to look like. So, how about you go ahead and um. Oh, and also, where the frick was this chick? Not that chick. I don't remember her role, but... Where was she? I don't remember. I haven't seen these shows in a long, long time. Because I had a child. These are child shows. So yeah, it's like in the style of the show, and they're like, go on this adventure. And yeah, that was a pretty good, nice little sequence. And yeah. Oh, and Alejandro gets naked. Nickelodeon featured the film with Dora the Explorer style animation. Where a man gets naked. And, um, yeah, Alejandro turns out to be a villain, which is a twist that you could have saw coming, but I feel like was a last-minute addition. Because he seems really trustworthy, and there really aren't any hints that he could be a bad guy, aside from one moment, which is... But you know what? He sounds trustworthy. I mean, he be he's nice to Dora, Diego, and all them, and no, but just so they get to the city. They um they do the thing, and Swiper steals some gold, but to restore balance to the gods. Uh, Dora puts the gold monkey back. And then the film ends. Dora stays in the city. And it ends with a musical number. They end it with the We Did It song. Yeah. I mean, like a full blown musical. Like, if this movie was a musical, for some reason, uh, then that would have been okay, but since there weren't any other musical numbers before this, that, that musical number at the end, just baffling. It made me laugh a couple times, but weird. And I think that's the best way to describe this movie. Weird. It's weird 
how they took a kid's show and turned it into Indiana Jones. It's weird that Dora is pretty much optimistic throughout the entire film, with the exception of, like, two scenes. It's weird how the villain suddenly goes from, Oh, hey, Dora, I'm gonna help you, to Give me the freaking gold! And it's weird on how Swiper is in this world where there aren't any other talking animals. I mean, I know Boots is in there, but he pretty much acts like a normal monkey. And it's weird that there's suddenly this moment where Boots talk and he talks and he has this super deep voice. And even Dora's like, what? And it's weird on how the, the romance between Diego and this other girl is just, just dumbfounded together because they felt like this movie needs a romance. He's, yeah. And it's, and that freaking backpack demon from hell in the beginning. And it's weird. That's pretty much the best way to describe this movie. Just weird, weird, weird. But, you know, I kind of liked it. It wasn't the best thing ever. It wasn't the worst thing ever. I don't even think it's the best or worst Nickelodeon movie. And Nickelodeon has made some terrible, terrible movies. You ever seen Last Airbender? One of those Ninja Turtle movies? I heard Wonder Park was a piece of crap. And yours, mine, and mine. And yours, mine, and ours. Yours, mine, and mine was a spot. A SpongeBob episode. And Barnyard was trash. Both the show and the movie. So, pretty much, this movie just makes you want to question life. And it makes you want. And it makes you wonder that Nickelodeon needs to. Not lie to us and say that Michael Bay was producing this. Seriously. 2017, they said Michael Bay was producing it, and... No! Oh, he didn't produce this movie. His name's nowhere near... His name's not even on it. I don't know, that was just a stupid rumor, or they lied. I mean, the exact same thing happened with Jungle Book and... Be prepared not being in it. Um, coincidentally, I made videos on both those subjects, and both of them ended up being wrong in, with, in less than a month of each other. So, but though, I will give Nickelodeon a big a thumbs up for taking a risk. With their old, with an old property. Now, Nickelodeon has mostly been playing it safe lately by bringing back older properties and just keeping them the same and not really changing much. Like, I really enjoy the new episodes of all that, but if all that was made today, that is how I would imagine it being. And Double Dare is pretty much doing the exact same thing. So, and, yeah. But, with this, I'm glad that Nickelodeon didn't just play it safe and made a straightforward Door of the Explorer movie. And instead decided to try something different. Make a, make a fun, different, weird, experimental version of this tired, weird, pandering, predictable series. And maybe one day, Nickelodeon can go ahead and make a, make a, make a film noir Blue's Clues movie that plays it seriously. Like a film noir. Good film noir. Yeah. 
Maybe Steve can talk like the traditional cigarette smoking, trench coat wearing detective. Maybe they should do something like Detective Pikachu. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, let's play a little game in the comments. Okay. okay. Name a Nick Jr. show or a Disney Jr. show or PBS Kids show. You can pick either one of the three. And I want you to make a PG or PG-13 version of it. Like, say, take the genre that it's kind of like and make it a full-fledged of that genre. Like, say, how Dora the Explorer was exploring and the movie was pretty much a Indiana Jones for kids. So, yeah, play the little game in the comments like I just did with Blue's Clues. I'd like to see what you guys think. It'd be fun. Yeah, you know, fine. Anyway, guys, I've been talking about Dora for way too long, and hope you enjoyed the epic return of Nerd Alert. New episodes will be coming soon. Whenever there's a new movie coming out that I think will be cool, or if I have a decent idea that wouldn't fit on, uh, maybe Animated Theory or Disney Dude, well, I won't do it. I don't care. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye! Oh, and one more thing. If you type in CSI Sesame Street in the comments, then... Screw you. Everyone's made that joke. Don't make that joke. We don't want that. At all!